What's going on dudes, boys and girls, friends and viewers, people who I do know and those I still do not. My name is Kalos House. welcome back to another Theory Craft Heroes of the Storm video. Today, we are taking a look at the new, uh, newly added hero into the Nexus. His name is Lucio, he's a support character from uh, the Overwatch universe. We've been longing for some uh, for some different heroes, you know, uh, something other than uh, than assassins from uh, Warcraft universe. I, I've already stated like, kind of my opinion on this. Like, as you get better uh, at the game, as you get better, you know, at different characters, you stop caring about the actual universe. Uh, it's cool to see some, you know, uh, basically a new kind of. Um, it's cool to see some new Overwatch heroes coming to the Nexus. But again, if you are somehow good at the game, you should stop caring about the universe they come from or the label that the. Uh, the, uh, like the game slaps on them, you you are more actually concerned about how they play, how they're countered, and stuff like that. So it, it wasn't actually frustrating to me to see so many um, Warcraft heroes and assassins because they all filled uh, their own very distinctive uh, soul roles. Uh, but today we're taking a look at the support. I was actually longing for a good support, as you, as you guys know, I'm the main support, so. Um, my opinions will be better than most of the people out there, uh, just because most people out there are just like range carries or carries or bruisers or something or tanks. Uh, they're, they're not going to know too much about the actual um, support character. So, Lucio doesn't have a mount. He has the skate mode, which means uh, he, it says Lucio can shoot while moving, Lucio skates or dies. And this is pretty cool because he can also wall ride just like an Overwatch. So you can, you can come close to an impossible terrain and you're going to ride along. You can see it, sometimes it's glitchy, um, but <clears throat> what it's also going to give you for a few seconds, it actually gives you um, an additional movement speed. So when you wall ride, you can see now I'm moving 20% faster. You can actually see when I look at my character, the move speed down there, you see 20%. Uh, additional movement speed, which is, which is pretty awesome. Very, very good, good for mobility, but this is not everything. His trait is called Wall Ride, which is exactly what I did just in a second. So, when moving alongside impossible to battleground terrain and structures, Lucio can walk through other units and his movement speed is increased by 20%. So, as long as he's next to uh, a wall, he is basically, he, there, there's, there will be no, um, no way to, to body block him. He can just pass right through you. Um, as long as he is uh, riding along the wall. It's, it's a pretty cool mechanic, but uh, I think they still have to work on it just because sometimes he just stops like right, right, like right there and again and again and again, you know, it's, it's weird. Sometimes it's, it's, it's very, very glitchy. Ho hopefully it's going to be fixed by the time he's actually in the game uh, on, on the actual live servers. Um, so let's let's start with his abilities first. So he has his sound wave, which is his Q. It's just a skill shot, kind of a corner kind of skill shot, which is which deals damage and knocks back uh, knocks back enemies. Pretty sl pretty small knockback. I don't think it's going to be too much of a big deal. Also has a very small range, so you have to get very up close and personal to somebody to actually use that. Um, I don't know. Let's let's talk about the cooldowns here. Very easy to hit, but I don't think it's going to be too much of a big issue. It's going to be very good for peeling. Maybe good uh, when you when you get a movement speed, maybe you can get behind, get behind somebody and push them back onto your team. Again, we'll, we shall see what it actually will be in the actual game. I think it's going to be pretty okay, you know, uh, especially good for um, for peeling. But we're going to see just how many uses we can come up with in, uh, while he actually comes out in the hero league and stuff like that. Uh, on his W ability, he has crossfade. So you can see he's just passively playing music. Right now I'm playing the uh, the healing boost, which basically uh, heals ev everybody around me. This is level 20. At level 20, it heals everybody for six uh, every tick, which t it ticks about four, uh, eight times a second. Is it eight times a second? It it ticks a little bit a second. So you can see healing per second is 52, which is pretty low. Um, and then you can switch it. But it's just passive, you know, you, you don't have to do anything, you, you, you just have to be there next to your allies to actually heal them, which is pretty okay. And then you, then you can switch it to movement speed, so there you go. I switched it up and now actually I get movement speed and people around me get a movement speed. It's not a huge deal, it's a 15% movement speed, but still, it, it, uh, it gives you a lot. And then that paired up with his um, Amp It Up, which by the way is very, very... Um, very very like mana expensive, I would say, uh, because he has five uh, six hundred ninety mana on level twenty, um, and this costs a hundred mana unless you uh, unless you spec differently. Um, so when you amp it up, you can see he starts to heal for uh, for a very very big amount. Let's actually say, 
Uh, I'm, I'm healing boost to 289 health per second, so it actually gives you a specific static number, uh, which it heals per second. Uh, this the number 289 is pretty damn strong, but you have to also take in, take into consideration that uh, it's only lasts for three seconds. So you're gonna be healing for uh, let's say maximum of like 800 and something. Uh, of health, which is not that big of a deal at the end of the end. Of course, it's a very very nice boost heal over three seconds You just heal a lot, a lot of health but Yeah, but also uh, if you switch to your speed you can also move at 45% movement speed, And that'll be everybody around you. So good for disengage good for engage. I very very much like this combo of um, Of this into bro shield uh, which I'll of course um, Tell you guys uh, afterwards what that what actually does, but you can see while you're actually amped up, you can also switch between different modes. The the mode I think have like a half a second cooldown. Yeah, yeah. So pretty awesome. <clears throat> so th those are all of his abilities. Uh, where he has his Q, the knockback, the different pl the different passive boosts, and the amp it up. So let's go over his talents now. Um, at level one. We have me. We move together. Increase the base movement speed of bonus. Base, base movement speed bonus of crossfade speed boost to twenty percent. Five percent is not a big deal. I think if, if think of this, this would be twenty five. This would be pretty broken. Um, but this could be good for compositions which do not have mounts. So, for example, let's say if your friendly team has the hacker, it has Falstead, it has Brightwing. Uh, you know, very, very kind of, um, let's say, a global comp who needs to get around quicker. I think this will be useful in those compositions. But other than that, I think it's going to be pretty useless. Uh, maximum tempo. Hero kills increase amp it up speed. Uh, kill five enemy heroes while close rate speed boost is active. So you have to make sure that your speed boost is active when you're, when you're killing the heroes. Uh, permanently increase the amp it up bonus for crossfade. Crossfade speed boost to 60%. Pretty strong. I would say this is one of the better talents in this tier because it's it's a shitty tier as it is. But um, I think it's I think it's gonna have its place. But I think it's uh, for me at least it's gonna be on the same tier as we move together. Uh, the 60% is gonna be nice, um, but again, it's only the people around you. Um, and I think its place is going to be again mainly in the competitions where either you need a fast rotation between lanes in a small map, or it's going to be like you know it's going to be useful for those global comps with, who don't who do not have uh, mounts. Uh, Accelerando wall ride gradually increases move speed. So a wall rides a movement speed bonus a gra a bonus gradually increases to forty percent over four seconds while Lucio maintains its effect. So let's say. So let's pick this Accelerando. And let's go into our character. Okay, let's so. Oh, so the longer I wall ride, so I I basically stick to a wall, and as soon as um, it's okay, so it gradually goes up. Okay, I see, I see how it is. So and forty percent movement speed. I think that's I think that's going to be pretty good. I think that's going to be uh, that's definitely going to have its place. Uh, because it, it gives you a huge movement speed for four seconds. That's pretty pretty strong right there. But you, you do have to wall ride for a little while to actually get it to to, to actually proc, to proc fully. I do like this talent though. I do like it uh, a lot. Uh, and then we have slip. Slip. Nearby enemy heroes uh, increase wall ride speed. Passing through or near an enemy hero during a wall ride effect increases its movement speed bonus to 70% for one second. So it gives you a huge boost of speed, but it's only for one second. So I do believe these, these two are going to be the pick. It really depends if they have a lot of close down. So if they have like a lot of uh, front line, I guess you want to go slip. But uh, I think Accelerando will be your standard pick for this, uh, for this tier. Again, for certain compositions, you can go for maximum tempo, but you have to uh, keep in mind that you have to put your speed boost on while you're killing enemies which is kind of bad because uh, most of the time when you're in a team fight you do not need the speed boost you want the actual uh, healing boost so again it, it's gonna it's gonna allow it's gonna make you play a bit selfishly uh, up until you actually get it uh, the actual quest uh, but it could be good at the end 
Um, so I would probably go for Accelerando. I like this kind of uh, maybe getting around around the map quicker. It gives you 40% movement speed pretty much all the time because, you know, there's always some kind of terrain, you know what I mean? So um, I like that talent. Um, on a level 4, you have specifically only for Q. Uh, enemies within the first half of Soundwave's range are knocked back 50% further, so you have to be actually much closer to them um, to actually knock them back further which is not what you want to be because you're a very squishy hero at level 20 you're only, you're only sitting at 3100 health 3200 almost which is pretty bad which is actually less than a murky with the new health buff murky has like 3400 health or something, or something like that with the level 20 the big kuna had to what the, what the big tuna whatever it's called big tuna hakuna or something um so i don't think this is going to be good this is going to put you out of position a lot uh, even though you're a very mobile character, I think it's still going to push you uh, push you out of position. Off the wall, Soundwave cooldown reduced during wall ride. If Soundwave uh, is cast while having wall ride speed bonus, the cooldown is reduced by 3 seconds. This could be okay because this only is a 7 second cooldown. So this could be okay, but how really, how useful is this, is this ability? I think with his health, the, the chase the base is going to be really good. So hit 20 enemy heroes with Soundwave, increase the Soundwave's arc by 50 and its range by 20, which I think is going to be pretty strong. So um, let's, it's going to allow you to just stay back a little bit. So again, uh, arc by 50%, so it should be 50% um, wider and 20% further. So it, it's going to allow you to stay back more. It's going to allow you to stay safe while actually using that build, which is what I like. Let's complete the quest here. Um, and you can see this actually has a very, very nice arc now. I like it. This actually could be used as a kind of a potential engage disengage ability, of course, and, and uh, this engage is going to put you out of position, but disengage like Team fights are mostly clumped up, mostly. So let's say there are two heroes here who just engage. You can, bam, you can push them back, right back. Especially that you also increase the range of your ability. So I do believe um, chase is the basic going to be the way to go. Uh, party mix. Play Lucio's crossfade tracks to nearby allies for a total of eight minutes. Multiple allies provide additional time. That's good. Permanently increase crossfade range by 25%. I think that's a, that's a pretty good talent. Uh, it, you always want to be giving boost to somebody, no matter... I don't think you'll be a solo laner at all, uh, even though you can sustain yourself through just a minuscule damage. I think you still will be better off laning with somebody and actually providing them. So you should have um, your tracks on somebody 100% of the time, uh, let's say 95% of the time. Um, so I think this party mix will just kind of do it by itself. If you're a good Lucio, you're gonna get it uh, much uh, much earlier than um, than a bad Lucio, I would say. So I think this is good. A loudspeaker. Uh, if at least two allied heroes are nearby when uh, Amper Up is cast, crossfade radius is increased by 50% for the duration. So this is gonna be especially good in team fights, right? So, but it's only it's only the uh, the 50%. It's only 50%. Um, of the actual range, it, it doesn't it doesn't increase the ampere up at all, um, or or anything. So if at least two are in your range when you cast ampere up, you're gonna increase its range. So you're gonna affect more more allies. I don't think this is this is good. This is very situational. Um, it could work. It could work in a in a team fight, but in just laning phase, you probably will be stuck with one person or or maximum two, and you you probably won't need the actual range on this. Uh, boombox. Drop a boombox that plays crossfade. I think this is okay. Place a boombox that plays Lucio's active crossfade tracks for 20 seconds. Its volume adjusts with Amper Up. So, let's say you're on, on the two and Spider Queen and somebody in the top needs uh, needs healing. Well, let's say this is middle, this is top. I come in here, I drop this, uh, I'll drop this here, and then I go back. I do have my healing already up, and I can actually amp it up now. And you can see this also plays the amped up music. Let's say, uh, let's see if it actually, it's actually heals them twice. Okay, so the normal heals for fifty four per second. And if we drop this guy, it doesn't actually affect them twice. So this is not going to be good for affecting people twice. This is only going to be good for for splitting. So you place it here. And then you go away, uh, you know, and you, maybe you're solo laner up in the top, 
will get this boost. Although, uh, so again, it's going to be very situational. I think your your main choice. Uh, let's go for uh, the talents. I think your main choice is going to be party mix. So you can see when we actually finish our quest here. It's a pretty sizable increase, you know. I think it's going to be pretty. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty useful. Um, sound barrier is going to be your main support, uh, main supporty kind of uh, kind of town. Let's actually spawn a friendly hero here, so I can show you the amount of shields. I'm going to spawn stitches first to show you how much shields that is on a on a like a very very beefy uh, tank. So I like hero. Where's the stitches? It's because stitches gets beefs. Stitches. Are you coming? There he is. Awesome. So let's go for sound barrier here. Uh, as you can see, let's break it down. It's a pretty sizable shield. It actually lasts for very long as well. It's. I don't think it's going to be used for this defensive tool. I think it's going to be mostly for engage. So you have like an engage with the hook. Um, or I don't know, like a medieval portal. You, you go through a portal, you you, you just break it down. And how much of it? This actually has a very sizable um, range as well. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I do like this talent a lot. Also, the animation is just fucking amazing, and what he says is actually awesome as well. So let's actually see how much we can actually take with the shield. So start start taking damage. Let's break it down. I like it. I think. I like it. I mean, it's it's cooldown is 70 seconds, so you know it could be pretty. Um, I think it becomes level. Uh, I think it's, I think it becomes better with time. Uh, and again, I think it's gonna be. It should mostly be used as um, as an engage tool rather than disengage. I just want to give you guys a kind of idea of how much uh, health it actually gives her. Uh, it gives her basically a half, but it's gonna be I think m about her max health. Actually, a little bit more, a little bit less than her max health, but it's still gonna be very sizable shield for her. It's basically like almost a second, uh, like like a second uh, health bar for her. Um, right. So select ally hero. Let's move it back to none. The other um, choice on level ten is reverse amp blast Lucio's crossfade tracks at enemy heroes for four seconds, causing healing boost to inflict. 439 damage per second, which is pretty sizable uh, AOE damage, and speed boost to slow for 45. So you can basically blast it for 4 seconds and switch between your modes to actually deal damage or slow their movement speed. And then it also increases the amp it up duration to 4 seconds. So they, they give you a pretty nice in incentive to pick this up and also maybe go with a double double healer composition. I think he's a pretty good solo healer with, with the actual sound barrier, but with the reverse amp I think he's going to need like a second kind of a supporting support, like a Tassadar with a... Um, with a static shield, a static, not static shield, but the static, um, static storm, psionic storm build, or maybe a Taranda, uh, maybe Taranda will see a comeback with, with Lucio, I'm actually curious about that, so, uh, let me actually show you guys how it looks, there we go, I'm gonna pick it, and then we press R, for 4 seconds we are either dealing damage or we're slowing their movement speed, pretty good, it gives you a very nice kind of uh, indication that you're you're using the, the actual ability. 50 second cooldown is quite sizable though as well. So, awesome. Okay, so that's uh, reverse amp. Um, level 13 beat mixing. Gain a shield after switching crossfade tracks. A big part of his kit is his low survivability. You need to stay mobile, and when you get some, when you can, when you can get some additional health. Um, just kind of passively, and they're staying for you forever. Just add additional part, additional health. I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty okay. Um, so beat mixing is, uh, Lucio gains 219 points shield that lasts indefinitely. So after switching crossfade tracks, if the next song plays for for at least 1.5 seconds, so you basically you can see. Uh, so I have, to, I, have to, I have to switch it, and then 1.5 seconds after I'm gonna like, actually gain a shield. It, it can't be like, you know, like switching between to just get the shield, you know, over and over again, right? I have to switch, wait for 1.5 seconds. So they, they're kind of making sure that you, you won't just kind of gain survivability forever. Um, it's actually gonna take you quite a little bit of time. Can't stop, won't stop. 
While wall running movement speed bonus is active, Lucio is immune to all slow and root effects. This is gonna be very, very situational, but I think it's gonna be good. Let's say, for example, you're next to a wall, and let's say your like the enemy Zul puts a, a bomb prison on you. What you do is you, uh, you wait it out and you just run on the wall as it's about to proc, and you basically just take that effect away from you. Also, uh, very good against like a very good disengage against like maybe you Q people. Let's say the enemy throw puts down earthquake, you Q him away, and then you uh, basically um, you can give your friends a speed boost. And then you can disengage yourself to actually to remove the actual slow, you know, uh, with um, with actual um, with actual wall, right? Do you see what I mean? I think it's gonna be pretty okay, but it's gonna be very situational. Hard style: gain armor during wall wall ride. Gain 25% armor while wall ride movement speed bonus is active, reducing damage taken by 25%. I think it's gonna be pretty okay. I think this is gonna be a very very good talent, but very situational depending on the map. On the map where there's a lot of impassable terrain, I think it's gonna be very very good because you will just kind of like passively have like almost almost at all times 25% reduced damage taken. Boy, boy. I do believe back in the mix is actually one of your best uh, best bets. Heal for 570 upon entering a stun, silence, or time stop effect. This cannot happen more than once, uh, uh, more than once every 10 seconds. So it's going to be good against the stun lock, of course. Most of the stun locks will happen when you're full health, so it's not going to heal you there. But when you're actually when you're stunned in like a normal team fight, it's going to give you a lot. It's like, it's like a a sixth. A sixth of your survivability, which is pretty, pretty sizable. So I do believe um, you can go for either the beat mixing, the hard style, or the back in the mix. Um, and this is actually the build I'm, I, I do, I think, um, like recommend to you guys to try out when you're playing him. Level 16, I do believe all of the talents on level 16 are pretty, pretty good for him. So, uh, Heliotropics, uh, Soundwave blinds enemies hit for 2.5 seconds, so very good against um, against um, comps with a high auto attack. Uh, so again, when you're going against Illidan Tracer or something like that, um, Butcher, you hit them with their, your Q, which by the way has a much larger area now, so it's easier to hit, to hit them with, and they're blinded for 2.5 seconds, which is pretty... Pretty strong. Rejuvenescia. Uh, while Amp it Up is active, crossface healing bonus uh, heals for an additional 3% of the target's maximum health. So it's going to be very good with uh, double tank compositions, triple tank compositions. So with the Chogo, um, I think it's going to be really strong because it gives you just that additional uh, healing on top of the, um, the, the Amp it Up. And bring it together. Uh, at if at least two allied heroes are nearby when Amper Up is uh, with, when Amper Up is cast, crossface healing bonus is increased by forty percent for this duration. This also could be okay. Also could be okay. Let's That's say so. Jam. Amper Up uh, heals for two hundred eighty nine per second. So forty percent of that is going to be forty five. About one hundred thirty additional. So. Uh, 130 plus this is like 520, 420, yeah, 420 blaze it. But um, yeah, so it's gonna be about 420 per second, which is pretty okay. But you have to, you do have to hit two heroes to do that. But I think it's gonna be a very good talent. I think bring it together is one of the best kind of talents just there to have it. Rejuvenescia again. Double tank compositions, uh, triple tank compositions, even, uh, um, which could be a thing right now. Zarya, Sonia, and something like uh, Varian could be a thing to do right now. And Heliotropics, I think, could be good again, again against these auto attack teams. And then up the frequency, basic attack lower, amp it up cooldown. Uh, so amp it up, uh, up's mana cost is reduced because you'll be spamming it a lot. Uh, to 80 and dealing basic attack damage to enemy heroes also reduces the cooldown of Amper Up by 0 0.35 seconds. So let's let's turn off the cooldown. So let's use our Amper Up here and let's let's start our attacking. Oh, I actually have to pick a talent. It's not as good. As, it's not as good as I thought. Yeah, it's not as good as I thought. As long as you auto attack, it's it's good. Because it gives you about a second every single, um, uh, every single like um, you know, basically use of your basic attack because you actually attack four times, four times. 
Yeah, four times. You attack four times, so it gives you actually more than uh, like about a second and a little bit um, every single time. So I can actually activate it. What? Okay, that's weird. Okay, I, th I thought it was passive, but okay. Um, so let's reset the talents again. So I do believe that uh, Rejuvenescia or the Bring It, actually the Bring It Together is going to be like your most stable choice. And the Rejuvenescia will be again your double time composition and Hidotropis will be auto attack. So let's go for Bring It Together. And then level 20, Bossa Nova. Reduces sounds very cooldown uh, to 30 seconds, which is crazy. But now the shields, the, the shields now decay over 4 seconds, over uh, rather than 6. Um, so this uh, now decays over three seconds, which uh, it kind of makes this kind of a bad. It makes it a trade-off, right? So it makes it a better kind of survivability tool because it's up almost every uh, almost every team fight, well, so every team fight basically, but it's going to be there only for four seconds, which is not a not a big deal. These two additional seconds, I think, make this um, make this talent. Not a desirable choice unless you have a, like a very very high mobility team which is going to be engaging, engaging, engaging. You know what I mean? Uh, your 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 R your um, sound barrier is mostly going to be used once per team fight. So mm, I don't like this boss and over thing. Encore is actually what I would go for. Um, swapping crossfade tracks while Amper Up is active will set up uh, will set Amper Up back to its max situation, and then uh, Synesthesia Additiva. The initial cast of Amper Up uh, removes all stun, slows, and root effects from allies, and also removes slow and root effects on Lucio. So this could be really good against like a mosh pit, or it could be good against um, Apocalypse, uh, something like that. Uh, very, very good. Could be again a very good disengage or just kind of a just mobility tool against. Um, What's the name? Uh, earthquake. Uh, earthquake, I think, I think it's going to be good. Uh, Thunder. It could be good, good against that. But mostly it's going to be used against something like, a, like an APAC or, a, or an Earthquake. Um, maybe actually a, a, an engage after a gust could also be used as, as an amp it up. But again, it's only your amp it up that, uh, that it actually works on. So it's, actually, it's, not actual, and it's not an actual active. You actually have it once per 15 seconds. So. Huh, I don't know. Uh, so I do believe uh, Anchor is the best choice. Um, so what you what you can do is you can do. So let's say I, let's say I'm healing right now, but I need more more healing. So I amp it up. I switch, and I can switch again back to healing. So let's say I need more healing. Just look at the cooldown here. So again, let's say I'm I'm healing, healing, healing. Let's complete the quest as well. Uh, um, I'm healing here with, with amp it up, and I, need, and I need more healing. I just switch back to healing. Uh, basically, you know, with uh, with just we're just using this encore, um, you know, to switch back to the movement speed for a second, and then you switch back to healing if you do need that uh, as well. It takes you about a second to switch back to your healing. I do believe this is that's the best ability, but of course you will have those situations where synesthesia additiva is going to be much better, like you know, again, like APOC, earthquake, something like that. So I do believe this is the support build for um, for Lucio. I don't see any more builds though. Like he he's not a, he's not supposed to be an assassin. He's not supposed to be. I do believe he's one of these characters who just pick the best talent in the tier, and I do believe those are the best talents in the tier. Um, I could be wrong about some of those, but it, that's just what I, I think. What I would pick from um, you know from my experience as playing as playing supports. Uh, back in the day as a, as a team member and actually now when I, I do play Hero League and I stream a lot. I do believe those are the best talents in the tier. Uh, of course, different situations call for different talents, but I think that'll be it. Uh, Lucio seems like a very, very cool character. I will be playing him once he releases again. I do have my mm, kind of rule that, I, that I, I do not play characters up until they release just because the, the BTR is crazy. Um, you, you, know, you guys know how, how the PTR could be, you know, like the matchmaking takes you like 600 seconds or even more, a thousand seconds and upwards to actually play the new hero, even when you're playing with the party. And um, yeah, so this has been Lucio. I think it's going to be a very, very cool addition to the to the Heroes, uh, uh, Heroes Nexus um, roster. And we were uh, longing for, uh, for a support. I think it's going to be, some people are actually having like 
second thoughts about him. Maybe he's not going to be a good a good solo support. I think you can spec for being a solo support, but you can also spec for being enough support uh, with another. Well, like being a main support, but also having some support from a different one, like an off support, like a Tassar or or Tyrande or maybe Brightwing even. Maybe Brightwing this. Maybe Brightwing um, Lucio could be a thing. Maybe it could be a thing. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, if you did, leave that like ring if you, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel for more stuff like this and gameplays from Hero League and just overall guys, I, I am planning to make some more guys soon and I'll see you guys in the next one.